Without this vital work, we might see more species go the way of the dodo. Half a century ago, the Endangered Species Act was signed into law, creating a way to protect and conserve at-risk species all around the country. Nathan Darnall, Western Colorado Supervisor with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, says it's working. Over the last 50 years, the Endangered Species Act has prevented the extinction of 99% of the species that are on the list. Again, it's a collaborative effort, and we have a lot of successes that we're seeing here in Colorado. And we've been able to delist and downlist a number of species as well. Birds like the bald eagle and peregrine falcon, once at risk for extinction, are now thriving. Darnall says they have 37 different lists of species that need protection here in Colorado. Just a few species might include fishes like the bony tail, razorback sucker, and Colorado pike meadow. We also have what is likely the most imperiled mammal in North America, the black-footed ferret. And they're not the only ones tackling this challenge. David Clute with Colorado Parks and Wildlife's Species Conservation Unit says they work closely with fish and wildlife as well as governments, private landowners, and agencies to create protections for these critters. We certainly protect and enhance the habitats that these species use. As I mentioned before, we address diseases, which can be a big issue for some species. We try to minimize impacts from um, a variety of threats. Those could be, you know, things like urban development, energy development, roads, habitat conversions, climate change. Without our intervention and assistance by our partners, we might see these species go extinct. Bringing these animals back from the edge of extinction isn't always easy. CPW says regulations are often needed to minimize impacts to at-risk populations and create conservation programs to prevent species from needing endangered species protections in the first place. You know, additional funding and additional allocation of resources would certainly go a long ways to doing this, but, but there's an enormous amount of work. Um, you know, just to get species off the list, but also, again, to prevent those species from needing to be listed in the first place. There's literally hundreds and thousands of species that, that need attention. With the black-footed ferret, Fish and Wildlife Service now has six introduction sites helping get this animal back on the ground. The Colorado River Recovery Program helps protect four species of threatened and endangered fish. And Darnall says now thousands of razorback suckers are released into the wild every year. But he says they can't can't let up now. It's vital that we stay on this. Uh, the Endangered Species Act is needed more than ever. If the Endangered Species Act and our partners, we weren't working together, we could see more extinctions. And so it's it's important to have this, this law in place. But beyond the works these dedicated folks are doing, there are things you can do to help these species survive. Whether you've got an apartment balcony or a whole garden, you can plant a pollinator garden to welcome in bumblebees and butterflies. You can even make your home more wildlife friendly. Darnall says something as simple as window decals can help to protect birds. And you can volunteer for a refuge or conservation organization to help tackle this problem firsthand. You really need a little time, some distance, to be able to see the impact on something. I mean, it's pretty cool to see what they've done in 50 years. Absolutely. Half a century of work, and it's really helped make a very real difference for a lot of animals. Cool. Thanks for showing us. Thank you, Rachel.